Welcome back to Be Unique. Right, I'm going to show you um, <clears throat> my haul. It's a makeup and a skincare haul. And I haven't done a haul in a while, in a long, long, long while. And I've just been buying products and never show you. So yeah, let's get started. We're going to first start with the makeup haul. Um, and let's get right to it first. I'm just going to get this out the way. Um, if you didn't know Back to Mac, it's basically a program that if you um, either depart or finish your product of a MAC product, you can return it and get any, I want to say any lipstick. Any so on my lips, I know, I feel like I'm the last person that got this lipstick. So it's, <laughs> so it's MAC Ruby Rue. And my first impression of wearing it, um, this, is, this isn't my first time wearing it. I did try it out for a a few hours maybe like five six hours and immediately like 30 minutes in my lips started cracking so um yeah I mean I don't care it's whatever I mean I do I did wear chapstick before I put it on um and whatnot so you just gotta be careful it just starts to crack and it really isn't cute to look at especially if somebody is just talking to you and your lips is just cracking in front of them it's not cute then they're more than likely not going to say anything so <laughs> so I would do I would just carry wipes and wipe off the cracked area and then just reapply the the ruby roux until I find a new method of um, moisturizing my lips next at the beauty supply store I got two nudes because um this fall it's nudes, dark colors, dark lipsticks and stuff. So I have my ultimate favorite matte lipsticks at the moment. And it's NYX, of course, matte lipstick. And it's, it's awesome. I got two nude lipsticks. And this one is called Wit Caviar. And it's this color here. It's just a pinkish nude. More so on the pink tone. I'm going to swatch it for you. And it, this one is NYX matte lipsticks. They're not drying at all. So I absolutely love these. And they're very pigmented. So this is whipped caviar. And this one is called Natural. And I haven't worn whipped caviar. So they're very similar. Okay, so this is whipped caviar here, and this is natural. That's very, very similar to each other for $5.99 each. And if you, if you live in Miami, um, it's off of 2nd Ave and 183rd. I'm sorry, 163rd. And um, it, the beauty supply store is called Classy Girl. So if, you ever, if you're ever around that area, go to that one. I got this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I use this um, all the time. This is like, to me, it's equivalent to, um, well, I never had it, so I wouldn't know the equivalence, but <laughs> this is just like um, MAC Fix Plus, and this is how it looks without the packaging. So I just got another one because I run out pretty quickly, and it's only $3. I got that at Walgreens. I also have the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Liner. And I I haven't used this yet, so I really don't know how this, you know, how this applies. So I'm going to try it now to show you the color. And that's the liner. It's like a, like a icy blue liner. <laughs> and so it says it's waterproof, so I'm, you know, I'm rubbing on it to see if it's going to budge. This thing does not budge. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I got this for $2.39 at Walgreens. So if you're into couponing and whatnot, um, I do coupons with um, makeup, drugstore makeup, I should say. So um, I have two Maybelline tattoos. Now this is like um, the MAC paint pots, and I have a whole bunch of these, and I just don't have these colors. So, um, I think it was buy one, get one free or something to that, buy one, get one 50% off, but the buy one was already on sale. So the color I, the colors that I have is edgy emeralds. 
I'm not gonna open it because I mean you can see it what you see in the pot is basically the color I'm not gonna lie I'm telling the truth and this one is um tough as taupe that's a cute name it's really bronzy color so anytime I'm having these colors on my eyes if I don't feel like using the NYX eyeshadow base and white I will gravitate to these two pots I ordered some goodies from Habani Cosmetics. This is my first time ordering from them. So, ordering from her, I should say. So, I'm really, really, really excited. Of course, it came in a priority mailbox. Not too shabby. And it had... <clears throat> came in a purple wrapping with a few of her business cards. And this is her in the front. Abani. I believe her name is Abani. I'm sorry if it's not. The Barney and then her lipsticks um, I believe they're her top lipsticks um, in the front and of course her information in the front and back so that was cute and these here Jesus let me tell you when I swatched them when I was sick so I couldn't really do anything with them till now so oh my gosh I'm so ready to do looks with bright colors and whatnot so this is um this is mint and they smell really really good like oh my god uh this smells like mint so and let me tell you about the swatch honey boo look at that like look how pigmented it is that right there son is mint and then the second color that i got from her is purple rain I believe these um, cream lipstick glosses are discontinued. They were on sale. I'll be playing by sales. And that's Purple Rain. That is such a gorgeous lavender. Like, I'm so ready. So ready. <laughs> to try these lipsticks out. I've been using this for a while. It's um, Maybelline Line Stiletto. And it's black I just it's a felt tip liner I of course I was running out I wanted I want something a bit more I wanted to stand out so I'm gonna try the immortal liner gel liner by makeup geek and I've heard really good things about it I've seen tutorials on it too so I just want to try out gel liners just to see how I can handle gel liners and whatnot with a brush and all that stuff and I'm an easy peasy makeup girl, so that's why I just stuck with felt tips, you know, whatever. It's the easiest thing in the world, to be honest, <laughs> if you want to da dabble into liners and whatnot. So, yeah, I got this from Walgreens. No, I'm sorry. I got this from CVS, and it was on sale as well. So, why not pick it up, right? To tell you about these awesome shadows, I'm very sad because she basically sold off her business or was selling all of the products left um in stock and she's not coming back okay so because she moved and blase blase so um i don't know her name personally but she had a business called madison street beauty man i've always wanted to try these um pigments and shadows and i just never got around to buying them so when she had a sale always these shadows or pigments were freaking 199 to 299 a pot this big and are you kidding me I would ouch ciao bye <laughs> so I had to just pick it up I'm wearing two of the shadows along with another shadow that isn't hers but I'm wearing two shadows and a bronzer that isn't hers as well either but the main colors that I have on my eyes right now are her colors and it is the brown is Bon Bon. I don't know if you can see that brown. You can see it right here. Right there. That's the true color right there. And it, it doesn't leave fallout, which is weird because with pigments for me, I always have fallout. So um, that's a good thing. <laughs> and then on top, I have like a bronzy shadow. And then I put this green kind of iridescent color on top of that. So I'm going to just bat my eyes down 
so you can see the shine. So yeah, so the second color is that I have on my on the middle part of my lid. It's called Midnight Forest. It's so pretty. It's like an iridescent pink. It's more so it's all over green pretty much, but you have iridescence of pink and pinks and greens. And so it's really pretty. So yeah, that's on the middle of my lids if you want to see what it looks like. This one is called Gold Leaf. Look how vibrant it is. And it's so blendable. That's why I love these pigments. Like, oh my gosh. People rave about her products. This is Seafoam. Gorgeous. This color is Sage. It almost looks like Seafoam, but it's not, obviously. The next color up is Pink Tulip. And it's like a raspberry pink kind of tone. Is it a shimmer? A shimmer color too. This one is royal blue. And this is also a shimmer. It's really, really pretty. Shamrock. Now this is really, really pretty. That almost matches the background of my wall. It's gorgeous. So those are all the colors of Madison Street Beauty. And I'm so sad, like I really want to pick up more colors, but obviously they're not going to be in business anymore. And, or she's not carrying on her business, I should say. So hopefully, hopefully crossing fingers that she's going to start up something else um, in cosmetics and that I can actually purchase again because these products are amazing. The shadows are uh, amazing. Moving on to skincare. I got this from my job. I work at the Paul Mitchell School of Miami and we carry some of Dermalogica line for skincare. That's the only skincare line that we carry. So Dermalogica is really a great, great brand. It's a wide variety of um, different kind of skin tones, skin types, um, skin conditions, and <clears throat> Anybody and everybody can use Dermalogica. First one here is called a Daily Microfoliant product. It's in a powder form, and what you do, you can less water. So each product in Dermalogica is highly concentrated, so it will last you a long, long time. So this is a really good size, like really good size. But these products aren't cheap. Don't let you know. So either thirty-five or forty dollars active moist what it looks like in a tube thirty five dollars for this size I may be wrong don't quote me active moist is a hydration product so if your skin needs hydration which your every skin does sticky not greasy and it does the job every time you wash your face during the day I mean in the morning or at night you put active moist on afterwards but before you put active moist on moist on this is a multi-active toner so you set your face before i mean after you wash your face and whatnot you set your face with a toner and then you put on active moist for a moisturizer so that's what this is for 34 dollars this size one more thing i've never used a the total eye care and so this is what it looks like and basically what it does is that it relieves the wrinkles and the skin the skin around your eye. You use the lines, it firms your skin around the eye. And what's, the, what's so good about it too is that this has an SPF. And the SPF goes to 15. And this is the tube that comes in. This retails for $45. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the makeup and the skincare haul. Thank you guys for subscribing and I reached 800 subscribers um, and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.